Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nola Pududu and this is the secret life of my PhD. Today, I want to talk to you about a productivity technique or method that I have used and it has helped me to do two things. It has helped me to improve my work ethic in terms of sitting down and studying for long periods of time. And it has also helped me to um, avoid procrastination or deal with procrastination. So the technique is called the Pomodoro method. It was created or founded by a student in Italy. His name is uh, Francesco Cirillo. And he was struggling with his own studies. So he was a university student struggling with his own studies. And one day he said to himself, okay, let me just commit 10 minutes to doing something small. And he took a kitchen timer and the kitchen timer was in the shape of a tomato and tomato in Italian is Pomodoro, hence the name Pomodoro method. And he took this tomato timer and he placed it there and he worked for 10 minutes. After working for 10 minutes, he says he felt so good and so motivated. He then wanted to continue and work a bit more. So that initial commitment of working for just a little bit of time then motivated him and, you know, gave him the energy to work even more. He did so well that he ended up writing a book on this method called the Pomodoro method. And he just revised it a bit to be applicable to the rest of us. Now the method is so simple and I think the genius is in its simplicity. You don't even need to read the book. I'm going to take two minutes, three minutes just to explain the method to you. And I'd like you to give it a try if you've been struggling with one, sitting down for long periods of time to study or you keep procrastinating. So this is how the method is. Number one, you break down your time into 25 minute segments. So for instance, if you're going to study, if you plan to study for an hour, you now have two 25 minute segments with two breaks of five minutes each. And two, you're going to need a timer or you're going to use uh, uh, an app. You can use some of the apps that are available. There's various Pomodoro apps. So you need a timer uh, and you need uh, to break down your time into segments of 25 minutes separated by five minute breaks. Then you're also going to need a to-do list. Now this is very important for you to really derive benefits from the Pomodoro method. You need to get a task that will approximately take you 25 minutes. Obviously you can't be 100% sure, but if you say, let's say you need to write an essay, you need to write an essay and you think that essay is going to take you uh, three hours. Then I would divide that essay and say, okay, I plan to work on a particular section of that essay, the introduction for 25 minutes. I'll work on the literature review or for, for an hour, you know, so you break it down into segments and then you break it down into 25 minute sets. I just said the same thing, but it's fine. So you've got your timer, you've got your uh, 25 minute segments and you've got your list. And then you sit down and you just start working. And you really need to do what you need to do in the beginning. The only thing you need to do is to commit to working for 25 minutes. Now, if you think about it, if you have a study day and you say, I'm going to study for six hours or eight hours today, it can feel quite intimidating if you haven't been studying for a while or if you're inclined to procrastinate. But if you say to yourself, I'm just going to sit down quickly for 25 minutes to get this task done. It just feels a bit more palatable to the brain. You know, the brain is able to say, I think we can do that. Now, the beauty in this is that what happens after the 25 minutes is that you get so motivated from completing that task um, that you actually want to then go on and do something else. The brain releases um, dopamine and, you know, that gets you all motivated and excited. It's the same uh, feeling you get when you are on social media and you post pictures and people like your photos and you get excited so you want to post some more photos it's that same feeling and we all know that feeling can be very addictive so now it's working in your favor in your studies because after completing a task 
you get excited, you want to complete another task to get that same feeling. And over time, you're able to improve on the amount of time you're able to sit down and study. So in the beginning, your target might be to just do two Pomodoros. And over time, you want to increase it and say, I'm going to do eight Pomodoros. I'm going to do 12 Pomodoros. So you have the Pomodoros. The key is you must take those breaks because the breaks help you to stay fresh and energized throughout. So you work for four Pomodoros and in each pom after each Pomodoro, you take a five minute break. And then at the end of the fourth Pomodoro, you ideally take a longer break to re-energize. And then you come back and work on your Pomodoros again. I would really, really recommend um, this technique. Give it a try especially if you're struggling to sit down for long periods of time to study or you're just struggling to sit down to study at all and also if you're inclined to procrastinate i mean i use it myself sometimes to trick my brain you know i'll say i'll maybe if i'm not feeling like studying and i'll say no just just do 25 minutes you know it's just 25 minutes and after that 25 minutes and literally just committing to 25 minutes having plans to do maybe nothing after that and after that 25 minutes I end up sitting for the rest of the day. So it's a simple method, but the genius is in its simplicity. Give it a try. If you have a project that you need to go work on or you're studying or you maybe you're starting a hobby, give it a try and let me know. Maybe try for two weeks and see how much it impacts on your productivity. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, please remember to subscribe. I cannot wait to see you guys next week, Monday. Thank you.